Hi, I've been asked in the past and uh, re again recently, is there a way that we can send data from uh, Microsoft Excel to our Arduino in a way where it's not just we're typing the number in right now or clicking a button right now, uh, some sort of programmatic way. Um, so today I'm going to walk through a sequence of doing that with some servos uh, using uh, VBA macros and just show you the kinds of things that, things that can be done. Here we've got the Arduino code. I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail about it, but uh, basically it's got two servos attached and based on comma separated values that are um, coming in, you can control the, the angle that these servos are going to do. So if I, for example, so set uh, one of them to 90 degrees, or if I want them both to be 180, I could do that like that. And we're going to send the same data from Microsoft Excel to the Arduino and then through to the servos. Right, so we'll fire up Data Streamer. You can look at my Excel Data Streamer playlist for how we get that all configured. But basically now if I put a value into any of these um, two points here, we'll get different servo positions. So what if we were to use macros? Well, I've made one over here The macro changes cell A5 and cell B5 values, and it sleeps in between. And we've got this uh, declare here at the top that allows us to use the sleep function. If we run that macro, the servos ran and followed the program sequence in the macro. We can do other things. For example, we could read from a text file, which is what this macro read from file does. It basically reads text from a text file and places the information in cell B2. Then I've got some code that splits the file, uh, the text contents based on a semicolon and puts them two numbers here. So then if I change the numbers in this text file, I've used a semicolon separator because Excel got confused with a comma of thinking it was part of a number. So then run the macro. The servos took the position that we defined in the text file. We could also make up some code that would iterate through just a step number using a for loop here. And what I've got over on this side is a, a table and whatever number I set the table value to, we're going to select from that row using VLOOKUP. So what we need to do over on the data out here is get this VLOOKUP formula and put it into here. So now if I change these values, the servos will take the values I've configured over here in my table. And that means I could do something like have a program sequence that will just count through by running this run steps macro. that's the run steps macro code there so thanks very much for watching i hope that gave you some insight into how you can sort of programmatically control the arduino and then things attached to it using macros in excel and the excel data streamer function don't forget to check out the playlist that i have around data streamer if you are confused about how to get all of the connection going with the arduino etc thanks very much for watching